Hey mermaids! Today we are going to share a story about not a mermaid but a hermit crab. The hermit crab lives under the sea with a mermaid and this hermit crab carries around his house. Actually all hermit crabs do but this is a very special hermit crab who wants to decorate his house with all kinds of things from under the sea. And that's exactly what we're going to do for our next art project. We are going to create a castle for our mermaids under the sea. But not just any the castle, we're going to make a sand castle decorated with shells and jewels and coral and all kinds of stuff. So as I read this book to you today, I want you to use your eyes and be a good finder and think about what kinds of things the hermit crab uses that you could use also when you make your mermaid castle. Let's get started. A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carl. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I have grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me? He thought, I must find a new house very, very soon. So early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. And it felt just right. Well, when it looks so, well, plain thought hermit crab. It's a very pretty shell, but it is kind of plain, right? Hey, look at this beautiful seagrass and look at the way that Errol Carl has created the sand with all the speckles. Put that in your head, okay? In March, hermit crab found some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. Mm, how beautiful you are, said hermit crab. Would you be willing to come and live on my house? It's so plain and it needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. And gently, Hermit Crab picked it up by his claw and he put it on his shell. <gasps> Those are some pretty, pretty um, things, aren't they? Anemones, can you say that? Anemone. And they're almost like flowers of the sea. They'll look really nice on hermit crab's shell, and they'll look really nice with your mermaid castle, right? In April, hermit crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the sea floor. Oh, how handsome you are, said hermit crab. Would you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. And carefully, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. Oh, very pretty. So look, we've got the anemone and the sea star. In May, hermit crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I would creaked a crusty coral, and gingerly hermit crab picked it up with his paw and placed it on his shell. In June, hermit crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a new path behind them. Oh, how tidy and hard, tidy and hard working you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help clean my house? Hey, I would, offered one of the snails, and happily hermit crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. That could be very useful. In July, hermit crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp and prickly needles. Oh, how fierce you look, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. And gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. Hey, you can put some of those around your mermaid castle for protection, right? To keep the bad guys out. 
In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. Ooh, it's full dark in here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the plural. I can't see, said the snail. And like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. Hmm. In September, hermit crabs spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. That would come in really handy too. Hey, you could have lanternfish all around your castle. It would light it up like magic. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. And Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect. But what do you think is going to happen? But, uh-oh. In November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They've been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like a family. How could I ever leave them? Hmm. Hey, that's really neat, isn't it? Look at that. Very cool. What do you think hermit crab's gonna do? In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. I got where my shell, it said. Would you do a little place for me? I've outgrown my house too, answered hermit crab. I must move on. Hey, you're welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. Promise, said Little Crab. Hey, that looks good. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the Little Crab moved in. Oh, couldn't stay in a little shell forever, said Hermit Crab, and he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. And it looked kind of plain. Hmm. But <gasps> sponges, he thought. Barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I cannot wait to get started. There's lots more under the sea, right? And Hermit Crab could decorate a shell with those things. There's always something new to try. The end. Okay. Are you guys ready to make a castle? Let's do it. Okay, so in your kit, you have a sheet like this that has an example of a castle, a sand castle, and there's a crab on it, and there are some plants and a starfish and towers and a flag and all that kind of good stuff. So this is something good that we can start with, right? We just read A House for Hermit Crab, and we looked at all of the cool stuff that he put on his shell and said that we might be able to put some of these things in our castle too, right? You could put it around it, you could put it on top of it, whatever you want to do. Um, so, so, so many ideas. So if you kind of forgot what we were reading, you can go back and look to get some more ideas too. But between our ideas in this book and the ideas that we have in this castle, we're in pretty good shape to create something really fun for our mermaid. You're going to use the piece of watercolor paper that we have given you that is a square. It's an 11 by 11 square. So you will need that. You'll need your pencil. You'll need an eraser. You'll need your watercolor paint, a cup of water, and of course, paint brushes. Oh, and you'll also need your Sharpie. All right, so gather your materials and let's get started. All right, so if I want to make this castle, I'm gonna look at this one and think, okay, how do I start to draw this castle? Hmm, I think I'm going to start with a rectangle shape 
kind of like this. Now the top of this rectangle is kind of bumpy, right? So it looks very castle-ish. So you can add that. But we're going to start with that shape. Now, if I draw it really, really big, I'm not going to have enough room, am I? I won't have room to make all these cool towers. So I want to make it kind of small, but not too small, because it's like the main part of my castle. Let me move this over so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. All right, so here's my paper. I can use my finger and ghost draw. You know, ghost draw means drawing it without actually seeing it, right? But I can see it in my mind. Okay, so if I make my rectangle about right here then I'll have enough room for a column here and here and then some stuff to be up here too right okay so here I go now I'm gonna draw it lightly so you might not be able to see mine very good yet right let's see can you look closely well maybe not all right I'm gonna leave some room down here though too because remember the path that we saw that was made with shells you could do that too all right so there's my rectangle all right not perfect but it'll work out for me all right you can spend as much time doing this as you want to but I'm gonna kind of go fast so you guys have more time to do yours all right so now the top of that is kind of draw over and down whoops and over and up cross down a little bit across and up. So I'm just going to keep on going. Oh, and it might not work out completely even. Oh, mine didn't work out even, did it? Uh oh. Hmm. So I could do a couple of things. I could just say no big deal and just do that. Or I could make it a shorter kind of shape like this. Or I could start over again, right? I'm just going to go with it, right? So I have these little lines I'm going to get rid of. All right. So I've got this going on here. Is that about the same? Yeah, it'll do. All right, now let's see what's happening here. I have these two little, um, well, is that, is that a turret, I suppose? Anyway, these shapes. This is kind of like a long and skinny rectangle with a triangle on top. And it looks like it's overlapped, isn't it? Part of this is on top of that, right? So I could draw that that way too. So maybe I'll start with my line. Oh. And this comes down lower, doesn't it? Because it's kind of in the front. And then I'm gonna go do the bottom of my rectangle and then I'm gonna come up. All right, and now let's see. There's the top. It's a little bit different, but it'll do. All right, there's my line for the bottom of the roof. And now I'm gonna come up and it looks like this one, that's sort of pointy, but if you wanted to make it kind of a rounded shape, because you know, if you're building something with sand, it's not going to be super duper pointy, is it? It's going to be kind of a sand kind of shape. All right, so there's that. Now, I went, I overlapped, so I'm going to get rid of that here, right? All right, and then look, this one has a little window here, doesn't it? Now, I'm going on this picture, but if you start to draw yours and decide, you know what, Miss Missy? I want mine to look different. I want to have windows all over or maybe I want a door here or maybe I want to make the top of this roof look like it's got shells all over it. You can do that too. All right. This is just something for you to get started with and then you can be as creative as you want to as you go along. All right. So now this side, it's going to be about the same only look. It's, can you see it? Oh, we do. Okay. This one they're similar, but they're not exactly the same. This one is taller, and then look, this one kind of has like a balcony, and all that is is just a long, skinny rectangle with the same kind of um, etched sort of um, design or the line that we drew here, right? See how that's similar? So let's try that. Let's see, that one's overlapping too, so, oh, I think I might have made this too small, but that's okay. I'm just gonna keep going. All right, I could also make this wider. So, so many choices, but I'm just going to go for it. All right, so we've got our line here, and that's another just a kind of a rectangle shape, and it's a little bit taller, isn't it? Hmm, mine's not going to be exactly like this, is it? Because I'm going a little too fast. You know, I could stop and erase and all that stuff and change it, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, now, so I've got that, and look, these lines are overlapping, so I'm going to get rid of this, right? And there I go. Okay, now here's my roof for this one. Oh, you can see what I'm doing. All right, 
And same thing. Here I go. Whoa. Okay, mine's a little tall, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it's kind of wider at the bottom and skinnier at the top, right? Your first try is not always your best try. So you have to do it a couple of times, draw a race, draw a race until you get it just the way you want to, and you're doing something right. All right, now for this little guy right here, I'm gonna draw that too. Okay, here we go. Oh, and now my line's gonna go down and up. Hmm. Oh, it looks a little different, but whatever. Let's just go with it, right? Okay. All right, again, I've got overlapping lines. It's a little bit wider, right? Okay. Now, I've got a window up there. There we go. Who could be inside that tower? Hmm, a little fishy friend. Look at how it has lots of dots. Why do you think it has lots of dots? The dots are there to make it kind of look like it has a sand sort of texture. So if you want to do that with your pencil, you can. And then later on, when you use your marker, you can go back over them again. This kind of gives it that sand kind of under the sea texture. All right, so I've got this part, this part, this part done. Now I need to start with these things. Now this is easy, right? Which one should I draw first? This one, this one, or this one? It doesn't really matter. All right, so it's up here. Same thing, only it's a little bit smaller, isn't it? Actually, I might, might make mine overlap a little bit over here just because I want to. All right, so here I go. There's this. I don't want to make it too wide. There's one. All right, now I'm going to make him a friend over here. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I might make him a little bit taller just because I can, right? You can be creative. We're not going for exactly the same thing. All right, there's my little... I want to make these a kind of a... Um, triangle shape, right? There we go. We've got some more windows. And there's a crab in the way there. I'm not going to draw a crab on mine. And then there's another. Maybe I'll make this window a little higher, huh? And then that's overlapping there. Okay. Now last but not least, we've got this final tower in mine. This is kind of coming up a lot, isn't it? Hmm. I might have to make mine overlap a little bit. Let's see, this could be this. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll make it really high. I'm almost gonna run out of room. I'm not gonna have room for my flag. But you know what I could do? I could put my flags on the, t on the uh, triangles instead. Let's see. All right, so now I'm gonna make this come down like that. You don't always have to know where you're going to have a good time, right? So that's kind of, we're just going on this little journey together. All right, and then this has a window up here. There we go. So you just keep adding on, right? All right. If you see a picture of something, you think, oh my goodness, that looks too hard. I can't do that. Well, of course you can. Just look at the shapes and draw that, draw one, then add another and add another. And on and on it goes. All right, so there's my castle. That looks all right. It looks like a sand castle. I think I'm going to add some flags because I can. Let's see. So maybe I'll put a flag right here. I just drew a line up and then kind of a triangle shape kind of waving. I'll do one here too. Hmm. Have you ever been to Disney World and seen Cinderella's castle? You could get ideas from that too, right? All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I've got my basic castle going. Well, why not? Let's go crazy with some flags. I'm going to erase where I overlapped, just so that it looks neater when I go to paint it later on, right? Eh, yeah, let's finish it off. <laughs> why not? Okay, now, we were talking about the different things that Hermit Crab had, right? Remember? So this is a good start, isn't it? But I don't think it's quite finished yet. So let's think about the beginning of the book. Hermit Crab <clears throat> found his shell in some seagrass, right? So I'm going to put some seagrass around my um, castle. I might put some back here. Let's see. I'm going to make a long skinny line that kind of comes up like this. Would my seagrass be taller than my castle or shorter than my castle? Well, it depends on how big your castle is, right? I think I might make my seagrass kind of tall. 
make it right here and it's gonna start right down here so I have room for other stuff down there all right so just making some long skinny grassy shapes let's see remember there was all that seaweed too that was very dark this would be kind of good to have a castle in that kind of grass it could kind of be hidden away do, 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 do. okay and this is behind it right all right and each of these is a piece right that I'm gonna paint right so don't go crazy drawing a bunch of lines if you're not gonna actually paint them all right you could also decide well I don't really want to you could draw it and then change your mind later on and then erase it that's up to you all right just have fun all right you can always flip over your paper or use a different kind of paper to do the same project again all right so there's that now oh you know what you could draw you could draw a shell hey if you wanted to you could draw a shell hiding back there I might do that let's see so how do I draw that shell it looks like a big spiral right it goes round and round and then it comes this way hmm so let's see I'm gonna draw that spiral whoa oh, I think I went the wrong direction silly miss missy uh-oh the opening must be out here it's flipped the other way silly me but look I have all of these lines right so I better get this space cleared out so I can see the shell although you know you might have grass in front of it too so look at that this piece of seagrass could be in front of it hmm I'm gonna redo my spiral here go and then there's the, the front of the shell here or the hermit crab could go in there huh all right maybe a hermit crab will come along and hang out oh it's kind of hide behind that piece of grass there we go okay so we've got a shell and some grass Ooh, see anemones look at this so what do we have here Kind of like a flower right you have like a stem so two vertical lines next to each other and then these are almost like those grassy shapes only they're coming from a center point and then radiating out aren't they so we're gonna put a sea anemone here maybe i'll put one oh i could put one down here in the front i think they might look pretty in the front of the castle hmm, maybe so let's see it's so hard to decide maybe i'll put one right here would they be as big or would they be small? Hmm, maybe I could make them a little bit smaller. They don't have to be super big, let's see. So what if I put one decorating my castle in the front? Let's see, anemone, anemone. It's a fun word to say. Oh, there's one. Oh, I like that. All right, I'm gonna put one over here too. There's this little stem. It's just like flower, huh? It's like a sea flower. The flowers of the sea, the sea anemones. Hmm. All right, there's those. And I could just keep going with those if I wanted to. Those are kind of fun. All right, so I'll do one more and then I'll move along. Because we're, wait, you guys are ready for me to stop talking and for you to start arting. All right, again, I have my overlaps here, right? So I can use my eraser as I draw to clean up what I'm doing as I'm going along yeah okay oh starfish okay how many legs does starfish have one two three four five are they legs or are they arms I don't know hmm, maybe I could put a starfish up here or maybe I could put one down here there you guys have so so many true I'm gonna put one on my castle I think that could be kind of fun he wants to go right up there so let's see how am I gonna draw that I'm gonna cut make one leg this way oh and one, there's two, three, it's a lot like drawing an anemone, huh? Four, and five. And I'll just have to color them different, huh? There's my starfish there. I could make this one a little shorter, like it's curving around the side, huh? It's curving around. Yeah, there we go. And then it usually have like have like little dots on there to give them give them a little bit of a starfish texture. Have you ever found a starfish at the beach? All right. Oh, coral. This is fun. Look, it almost looks like a cactus, doesn't it? So coral is very hard and it's kind of got little bumps on it. See how they've made circles here? So maybe I'll put a piece of coral here. Now, how do I do that? I'm go kind of bumpy, wumpy, maybe with one shape here. Hmm. 
to see what that looks like. And there's got another piece down here, and another piece here. Maybe this one comes up, and there's another piece that comes off of it. Overlap it a little bit there. Oh, you could make a friend for him right here too, or you could just have one piece. Hmm. Usually coral lives in like big clusters, almost like the coral family, huh? Some are very big, some are very small. All kinds of coral, different kinds of colors. This looks like a mess, doesn't it? That's where my handy dandy eraser is gonna come in handy, right? So I can kind of find what I'm doing figure out what is where and how hmm okay well now I can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better right so when you're drawing having an eraser nearby is a handy type of thing okay there we go let's see this guy some overlapping there he doesn't have to but he could all right and then his friend is kind of behind him I guess well you can pick you can choose all right mermaids Castles are coming along. Let's see. All right. Well, but that makes sense. Ah. Uh oh, my finger's stuck in the paint. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make him a little bit shorter. It doesn't make sense for the other one to be in front of it if it's anyway. Blah blah blah. Okay. And then if you want to add little dots to this, you could too. But I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, snails. Oh, we could do a snail. Hey, let's put a snail on our castle. Maybe we'll put a snail right here. So how do we draw a snail? It's kind of like we're drawing the shell, right? Because snail has a shell too. And then we'll give him a little head here and a little tail. He's gonna hang out on our castle and help clean it up. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, Ooh, urchins. Oh, these are big spiky things. Maybe we'll put an urchin. Well, I don't know. Hmm. We'll put them right here in the corners, maybe. You, do you have to do it? No. They look a lot like the anemones, don't they? These are a lot more spiky. Maybe more pointy, kind of sharp. Sharp edges. Let me put one here and one here. They're guarding our castle. <laughs> all right so you're just gonna keep going I could sit here and draw stuff all day long but I know you guys are probably tired of listening to me talk so I'm gonna draw a few more things on here and then we are going to trace in our sharpie and get to painting all right see you in a minute for your mermaid friend. I cannot wait to see what you created. Send me pictures. Y'all have fun. Bye.